Hey there, everyone. Welcome to a new week at school. We're going to start off with uh, Room 6's Treaty 6 Acknowledgement. We're on Treaty 6 territory. We acknowledge the Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, Métis, Nakota Sioux, Dene, and Inuit people who have traditionally honored this land with respect for many generations. We will be peaceful, safe, and kind in keeping with the spirit of Treaty 6. We promise to cooperate and to take responsibility for our actions. We will be allies when faced with common problems. We honor our agreements within Treaty 6. We recognize that we will keep the treaty as long as we live on Treaty 6 land. Because of this treaty, we live in peace and harmony so long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. Everyone, can you stand and join me in listening to O Canada? Welcome to New Week at School. Today it is Monday and it's May 10th. Hopefully you got a chance yesterday to, uh, to recognize Mother's Day and do something special with your family. Uh, speaking of mothers, today is Mother Ocean Day. And uh, this is a, a celebration that was started by a group, but a uh, group in the States. And I would like to acknowledge that because water is essential to human life. In fact, it's essential to all forms of life known to humankind in general. And there are no, spe no known species who can survive without water. Although marine biologists are unsure how many creatures uh, reside in our planet's five oceans, it's estimated that about a quarter of all of Earth's species live there. If you're wondering how you could uh, recognize Mother Ocean Day, I recently watched My Teacher Octopus. It's a great a uh, great documentary about uh, an octopus that lives in the ocean. So maybe you could watch that one. Alrighty, we've got one of our friends who last week had an operation. So we are sending love and good wishes to Julian, who is in grade three. He had his appendix removed last week. And uh, Julian, we're hoping that your recovery is smooth and that you're able to, uh, to rejoin your learning soon. Tomorrow night, I will be meeting with parents at school council on uh, May 11th. So teachers, could you please uh, remind students that all parents and guardians are welcome to join us at that online meeting. And uh, it's a great way to stay up to date with things going on in the school. While we're spending the next little while learning online, it's really important to me that we practice being great online citizens. So today's uh, digital citizenship tip is to remember that Google Meet links that are created by a staff member are for school purposes only. Uh, if you happen to be in a Google Meet and there's not a staff member there, it's kind of like being uh, in a classroom without supervision. It's not cool, so please limit your activities to supervised Google Meets. And I recognize that we've got friends who want to visit with each other. There are a number of different ways that you could do that, but please do not use your Google Meet links for that purpose. In brighter news, uh, at the end of this week, on Friday, we have a professional development day. So uh, even though I know you're already at home, it's a bit strange. Remember that there are no classes on Friday. Students who are in rooms five and six have begun this month's Sum Dog Math Challenge. And they are competing against students who are all over the city. As of this morning, we had seven students in the top 10, which is amazing. So great work and keep it up, everybody. 
In your Rutherford weather forecast, we've got a fantastic day out there to start the week. Please make sure that you uh, take a break, get away from your screens uh, when your teachers give you some exercise breaks uh, to get outside. It's going to be sunny with a high of 16. That's all I've got for you today, friends. Don't forget to demonstrate respect, responsibility, safety, and pride. Don't forget to have a great week at school.